Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Um, I honestly just wanted to come on here and talk a little bit because I feel like I don't really connect um, with my audience, the people who watch me, um, the little bit of people who watch me. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I always say this, like, I feel like I could be so much far ahead, like, when it comes to YouTube, because, well, I don't really have that much to show. Like I said, I, like I said before, I am a regular person. I don't really go out much. It's, um, What else? I have a son. I'm married. We live in an apartment, a nice apartment at that um a pretty okay apartment i would say um but that's not the point <laughs> what i'm saying what i'm trying to say is i don't really go out because i'm comfortable in my space like i'm comfortable where i live i don't really have that many friends and the friends that i do have most of them are married and in the same situation with me like they have families um and they don't really go out as much um, we're, we're at that age where, or I'm at that age where I'm 26 years old. I don't feel the need to be partying all the time. I used to, even when I did back then, like when I was like in my early twenties, I didn't do it as much. I was still a very much a homebody. Um, I've been this way my my entire life. Um, I've been a homebody my entire life. Whenever I did go out, it was like a forceful thing because I would just be like, oh my gosh, like I can't be like this. I'm wasting like my youth. I'm wasting my youth and, um, let me just do something, you know? And I would mostly go out with my siblings and stuff. Um, never really had that many friends. Still, y'all, I look crazy. Never really had that many friends, um, even then. But... So now, like nowadays, I just, I'm in the mindset where I just, I want to grow, like, I want to grow mentally, I want to grow spiritually, I want to grow financially. Um, and I started my YouTube in 2017 after finishing college, well, I technically I didn't finish, but that's a story for another day. I finished. I passed all my classes. I just never got to graduate. That's a story for another day. And um, I was taking medical assistance. So I have some knowledge in that, <clears throat> you know, in that field. I was um, doing medical assistant and I was doing my externship and everything. And then I got to a point where <clears throat> I wasn't able to use my skills. That's another story for another day <laughs> once again um once again so yeah so what happened was i ended up um staying with my brother and his wife and i i was like let me start youtube but just for fun like at that time i wasn't really thinking about you know financial i didn't have any financial stress or anything like that i didn't have a child yet yeah, i was how old was I? I think I was 20. I had just turned 20. Yeah, I had just turned 20 years old. Anyway, so that was about six years ago. Um, Yeah, so I, and I never like continued. I was like on and off on YouTube and my content wasn't really like up to par, if I'm being really honest. Um, But now, you know, now I'm really going to like put my all into it i'm really gonna put my all into it and i want you know i want to grow on here i want to grow on youtube and i'm you know i this is what i want to do this is the path that i chose for my life um <clears throat> yeah but basically <sighs> throughout the years like being discouraged and stuff like that um having very low low confidence like little to no confidence in myself now i'm like my confidence is getting there 
it's getting there um i think i want to do another like get to know me on my channel so y'all get to know me now because <clears throat> the get to know me that i did years ago that i was 20 years old i was so young i look back at that and i was so emotional i was like oh my gosh i can't believe like look at how i looked look at how i was my mindset was different my my everything was different my physical my mind my what can i say um everything everything was different everything was different um what can i say like everything was different about me i changed i have changed since then so so much i have grown so much since then <clears throat> so i definitely need to update that um get to know me anywho um but yeah like when it comes to like my mental um i feel like that had something to do with <clears throat> this year with me really pushing to do um youtube was because i needed an outlet i needed something to after having my son i needed something to keep me motivated and keep my mind off of certain thoughts certain negative thoughts certain things <clears throat> sorry although praying i was praying however it wasn't you know i don't want to say it wasn't working god works in his own time you know and prayer definitely helped me a lot but I also needed to put in work myself. I needed to, something like an outlet. I needed something because I was working at home at the time, which I'm not working now. Um, this smoothie has me like burping so much. Um, yeah, it's some type of detoxifying thing, I guess. But whatever. So back to what I was saying. I needed an outlet. I needed something to keep my mind like off of certain thoughts that I had, like certain things that I was battling within myself. And I didn't even know I was battling with them. Like I didn't know. I, I, I don't want to say depression. I don't want to say, I don't want to put anything on myself, like on me and be like, oh, I had postpartum depression. You know, some people say that's what it is, but um, I don't want to call that upon myself, even though it happened and i i didn't identify it at the time i just knew i was something was wrong with me and come like thinking back now like i i was it was terrible um i'm so happy that you know god took me out of that space because mm, i don't know being in that like dark cloud and i'm still working on myself now being in that dark cloud um you feel like you can't get out you know so ugh, i did not come on here to freaking cry the hell <laughs> whoa anyway so yeah um being in that dark cloud you feel like you can't come out so i i'm so happy that um i found i've gotten into you know doing my reels on instagram I've gotten into, into TikTok and it's weird to say that, you know, something like that would like social media. It's not about social media being an out. It's not about social media, like comforting you or anything like that. I don't want anyone to take it like that. It's about me doing what I do. It's about being creative. And I have that creative side. I, I was struggling for the longest with like not wanting to be um, in the medical field no more and and not knowing what I was going to do, you know, financially and stuff like that. Like something I needed something for me. And now I have something that's for me that I'm working on, which is the lashes. But I also have this. I also have, um, you know, this mini platform or I wouldn't say it's a platform because I don't have that much of a audience, but I have this outlet where I can be creative and hopefully, you know, it finds people, hopefully people like what they see from me and stuff like that. So I have a very creative side and especially when it comes to photography, which I didn't even know. I just always knew that I like to take pictures of things, not necessarily people but like of things of nature of whatever like if y'all follow me on instagram y'all be seeing the stuff that i be taking picture of flowers um things around my apartment different types of stuff when i go out i take pictures of like of anything of like 
sceneries and stuff like that. I've always liked to look at those type of things and admire them. I love art, basically, what is what I'm saying. And um, and I got to like um, starting last year and you know this year, I got to like play with that a little bit on my Instagram and. I love what it does for me. It makes me, you know, my family makes me happy, like, you know, without question. But what I'm saying is something for me, something that I can, um, I don't want to say produce, something that I can do that actually makes me happy, you know? Um, yeah, something I can do that makes me happy. Because I don't want to say, oh, it makes me happy as if it's like something that I was just never happy and um, I was just this unhappy person and I found something. No, that's not what I'm saying. I have family. I have a family that I came from and I have a family that I've created and they both make me happy. And I make myself happy. But what I'm saying is I was struggling to find something that I can do, like something that, like a talent that, you know, that would make me feel satisfied and fulfill me, you know? Um, and overall, God makes me happy. Let's just start there. <clears throat> but, yeah, I wanted to um, come on here and, like, talk a little bit because I don't really be talking to my people, like, like I should, like, connecting with y'all and stuff like that. But, yeah, today I have the house to myself, and I think I'm going to go. I have, like, dirty dishes in the sink. See, today was my lazy day. Today was the day that I was supposed to be lazy. Well, I am kind of being lazy right now. But, well, I am kind of being lazy right now. But I did film some content that I have to edit and stuff like that. For my reel. But I wanted to show y'all. Um, I fixed my, see, I fixed my bed today. I wanted to show y'all uh, the diffuser, the new one. So, the new one from the hotel. Hold on. From the hotel collection i'm actually about to turn it off because it smells wonderful in here okay so see how it turns off this is the remote that it comes with and i'm gonna it's off now i'm gonna turn it on see that y'all can't see the vapor but anyway it's on right now the other one, but I turned it off. The other one that I had, that did not, it, that that didn't happen, and I, I that's probably why it broke because it wasn't turning on and off by like when I pressed the button, it wasn't doing nothing. It would just start stay like blue. It would just stay blue. Like this would be blue, and then um that was it. But they sent it back to me, so I returned it. Um, as y'all saw in the last vlog, I returned it and then they gave it, they sent this to me and I got it yesterday. It took about two weeks. So yeah, it took about two weeks and to get here. Um, I'm about to go, I'm about to go out by the pool. So I could just relax or whatever. Yeah, I'm about to go chill out by the pool um and catch some sun or whatever and then i'm gonna come here come back here and take a nap i'll probably be out there for about maybe an hour or so um my baby is at his grandma's house his dad's mom and my husband is at work um i always feel so guilty i always feel so guilty when i um when i send him over it's not because i don't send him over because i need a break I don't feel like I need a break from him because he's not, he's a handful, but not that bad. Like I can handle him. I hand, I can handle my baby. Like, it's not like he's that much of a handful, you know, when it comes to like taking care of him. He plays by himself. Like he'll sit down and like play. He'll run around. I do have to run after him every now and then, but I play with him, you know, I play with him with his toys. I run after him. I make him laugh he makes me laugh and i just miss him whenever he goes so i feel guilty like i i cry every time he leaves dog oh my gosh every time he goes i cry like the minute he steps out the door i start crying anyway 
that's how it is they that's how they say it is um mom guilt or whatever but he's fine over there he's in good hands um when my mommy was staying with us for a while um i would leave him with her so i see it as as if my mommy was taking care of him um it's his grandma you know so he's in good hands he has people that love him over there everyone loves him so that's not what i'm worried about i'm not worried at all i just miss him you know i i don't need a break from my baby i don't need i don't feel like i need a break from him i just send him because i want him to spend time with them because he's always here with me anyway so i'm about to go to the pool i should be going to the gym with my big ass but <laughs> we're not about to do that i i'm about to just chill so i gotta change my clothes Gotta change my clothes, um, change out of this robe. Y'all, for some reason, I look pregnant again. Like, a week ago, my belly was not like this. And that scares me. But I'm not pregnant. I know what it is. I'm really bloated, and I have been eating a lot of junk food because I've been a little in my feelings a little bit. And I've been eating a hell of junk food. So, we about to change... I want to just change my clothes. Okay, so I made it to the pool and I'm reading this book. Um, I bought it at the thrift store and I was like, I bought it like three weeks ago and I was like, let me just pick this book up and read this book. I have me my wine. I have me my favorite Miomi wine. Poured it in the glass. And I'm just chilling out here with a big old t-shirt and some shorts because we don't have that summer body yet. Anyway, so I'm just chilling out by the pool, as y'all can see. Hold on, let me show y'all properly. Just out by the pool. I was actually sitting over there, but that sun is too hot. I wanted to get like some pictures of the trees and stuff or like some videos, but the sun is too hot for all that. So I was like, let me just come back here with Shady.